Hello everyone. It's another beautiful, blessed day today to be in the presence of the Lord. It's an honor right now to glorify Him, to shout out His holy name, to seek Him in this kingdom each and every day. There's not a day that shouldn't go by. If God is waking you up every every day and He blessing you with life, He bless you with your health and your strength, you should give Him the thanks and praise and glory right then and there. There's no limit to how many times that you can thank Him. There's no limit to how many times that you can praise Him. There's no limit to how many times that you can glorify and worship His holy name. You should want to do it because if it for Him, you won't be where you at right now. Give Him the thanks right now. Give Him the praise. Give Him the glory and the honor right now because we serve an awesome and amazing God. Give it up to Him because He deserves it all. In Jesus' name, amen. And I hope y'all, ladies and gentlemen, I hope y'all ready for today's word and message today like I am. And today's message is, if someone walks out of your life, let them leave. If someone walking out of your life right now, let them leave. Because what the word of God said, Jesus already knew a, a time like this will happen. Some of y'all already knew it too. But you know, say so you probably didn't recognize it. Or some of y'all did recognize it, but you were just so, so naive about the situation. You were like, nah, it really ain't true. Is someone walking at your life? Let them leave. It's the reason why they're walking at your life. It's the reason why things are happening where they happen because Jesus said he already knew a time like this will happen. Amen. And I know this message is meant for somebody today. I know it is. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. Amen. Amen. And before we get started, we all like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, praise, and glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, we just can't thank you enough for this awesome and beautiful, blessed day today. We can't thank you enough today for our health, our strength, our hearing, our voice today. We can't thank you enough that we're able to seek you and your kingdom today to glorify you, to worship you, to praise you in each and every way. We just can't thank you enough for the air that we're able to breathe today, the clothes and shoes that you put on our back, the food that you have prepared for our table. We just can't thank you enough for our strength. We can't thank you enough for our vision. We can't thank you enough we was able to use our brain and think today to function the day. We just can't thank enough for everything that you have done, what you're about to do in our life. We can't thank enough for the blessing that we pray for, the blessing that we didn't ask for. We just can't thank enough for the prayers that, that, that goes to you each and every day. We just can't thank enough for the door that you opened for us and the door that we haven't seen and asked for, God. We just can't thank enough because we serve an awesome and amazing God. That's why we're always going to seek you, praise you, and glorify and worship your holy name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get into this word. And today, I would love for y'all to turn your Bibles to Luke 17, and we're going to read from verse 3. That's Luke 17, and we, excuse me, Luke 17, and we're going to read verses 1 through 3. And if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive it, shout out amen. Verse 1. Jesus said to his disciples, things that cause people to sin are bound to come, but woe to that person through whom they come. It will be better for him to be thrown into the sea with a milestone tied around his neck than for him to cause one of these little ones to sin. So watch yourself. So watch yourself. Jesus knew a time like this was going to come. He knew it. That's why if somebody walking on your life, let him leave. But Jesus knew things like this would happen. Why? When you became a disciple, a follower of Christ, when the old person was gone and a new person became, has been created, that's when Jesus knew something like this was going to happen. That's when your enemies and your haters got mad at you. That is why Jesus was talking about sins are bound to come. Right then and there, once you became a follower, once you became a disciple, once the old person was gone and a new person was here, Jesus knew right then and there things like this was going to happen. He knew some people was going to walk in your life. The reason why he knew he was going to walk in your life because you ain't the same person no more. See, some people, they, want, they still want you to be the same when you're not the same no more. And the same people who want you to be the same are your so-called friends who you grew up with, some of your co-workers, or even some of your family members. But once you change all that to follow God and to follow his army, Jesus knew right then and there. A lot of people are going to start walking out of your life. So Jesus let you know right now so they're walking out of your life let them leave right now. The word of God instructs us to continue on the relationship with him. He also instructs us to get our relationship when it's time to get out. And some of us know it's time to get out of that, that missed relationship that we've been in with that family member, the so-called friend. 
or their so-called boyfriend or girlfriend or co-worker, whatever it may be. Jesus is instructing you right now. It's time to get out. Why? You're already forgiven. You're already forgiven them the time that you have spent with them. So why let the same people continue to hurt you over and over again? That's why Jesus is saying it's time for y'all to get out of the relationship. Jesus know that family member is hurting you over and over again. Jesus know that so-called friend is hurting you over and over again. Jesus know that so-called neighbor or co-worker is hurting you over and over again. So now is your time to get out of that relationship. It's your time to get out. That's why he said, if someone walks in your life, let them leave. It's time. Y'all know it's time. Don't, be, don't procrastinate about it. If you know where that person is good for you, it's time to get a relationship. What's the milestone? When God said it would be better for them to be thrown to the sea with a milestone, what is a milestone? A milestone is a burden or dead weight to you or responsibility to you or obligation or liability or misfortune. Some of y'all, y'all not responsible for everybody. Some of y'all, y'all not obligated to do things for people. Some of y'all, y'all not a liability. Some people's putting a burden on some of y'all. Some of y'all have a lot of dead weight. And the dead weight comes from people who you know. And you already know who they are. And the dead weight can become, like I said again, like I said before, the dead weight can come from a coworker, it can come from a so-called friend, it can come from a family member, it can come from somebody that you really know. That's what dead weight is. You don't want to miss your fortune because of that. Now I'm going to get to my point. My point is, it's not your responsibility to take care of people if they, don't want, if they don't want to be helped. It's not your responsibility to help someone to get a job when they can get their own self a job. Are they handicapped? Are they disabled? It's not your responsibility to try to help someone when they don't want to be helped. It's not your responsibility to try to give a person advice when they don't want to listen to the advice that you're giving them. It's not your responsibility. So you need to stop. It's not your responsibility to, to keep on loving someone over and over again when they continue to hurt you over and over again. Once you pray for them and you don't forgive them, it's not your responsibility no more. It's dead weight. You're not obligated to take care of your family members or your friends or your co-workers. You're not obligated to do that. If they're not handicapped or they're not disabled, you are not obligated to do none of those things. You're not obligated to help people over and over again when they want to be helped. You're not obligated to take the horse to the well if the horse don't want to drink the water. You're not obligated. Because why? God has blessed you with something. It is a reason that he's blessing you and not them. If they want to get want to get mad at you, let them get mad at you. Let them leave. Some of them get mad at you because they feel like you obligated to take care of them. Some of them get mad at you because you obligated to help them. Some of them get mad at you because they feel like you obligated to continue to do what you do for them. No, you're not obligated. You're not. Some people have become a burden to you. Do not let that burden wear you down. And if they do, they will get mad because you don't want to, you don't want that burden to, to wear you down. Did they get mad at you? Let them get mad. If they want to leave out your life, let them leave. Because a burden can come really, really um, stressful at sometimes. And the main people who try to put that burden on you is your family members. Come on now. They feel like because you share the same blood and you share the same last name, they feel like they're going to put that burden on you. They feel like that you are obligated, you're responsible, that you're a liability to help them and do for them because y'all share the same last name, because y'all share the same blood. No. Do not let that burden wear you down because if the burden was on them, they wouldn't let it wear down on them, now would it? No. But some of y'all letting that burden wear down on y'all. Do not let that burden wear you out because it's will. And that's why they're doing it for. Because they feel like you their sister or their brother or their niece or nephew. Don't let that burden wear you down. Your so-called friends, family members, co-workers, boyfriends or girlfriends, husband or wife, has been dead weight to you. Some some of you already know that for some time. Now have you? You know they've been dead weight to you. They're dragging you down. It's time for you to scale that dead weight off of you. It's time for you to throw that dead weight into the sea right now. You know it. You know that relationship is gone. It's time for you to throw that dead weight away from you. How in the world are you going to be able to get stronger? How in the world God going to be able to use you and take you someplace where you carry around dead weight? It's time for you to remove it. 
Remove it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. What caused people to sin are bound to come. Not my words, but them Jesus' words. And you know that they're already there before for a while. Let them leave. They want to leave at your life. They want to walk at your life right now. Let them leave. Let them leave. Because you're not obligated to do none of those things. You're not responsible to do none of they get, do none of those things. You're not a liability to them. But some of them think you are. So they want to walk at your life. Let them leave. Jesus said, he says it in the word of God. He said, I knew a time like this was going to happen. He knew it. Like he told me. Now it's time for you to leave. My family was a burden to me after my parents left. After my parents died, my brothers and sisters put all the dead weight on me. They felt like I was obligated to do for them. They felt like it was my responsibility to do for them. We all was in the same boat. I lost my mom like they lost their mom. I lost my father like they lost their father. They weren't little kids. We was all grown. It was because I was the oldest. So they felt like I was responsible to take care of them. They said I was, it was my obligation to do for them. They say I was their legal guardian at that time. And all that burden was weighing me down. That burden got me stressful. It was so much burden. I just cried to God so much. God, please remove this responsibility from me. And so what, what happened? So they walked out of my life. So God said, let them leave. So let them leave. I still pray for them. I still love them. I know some of y'all are going to be bold enough to say anything like this, but I am. I don't hide anything. I don't sugarcoat anything. I'm going to speak the word of God. I'm going to speak the truth. Some of y'all right now in that same situation right now. Some of y'all letting dead weight bring you down. Some of y'all feel like y'all obligated to do these things or that's your liability or you responsible for that. No, you're not. That's what God is putting in my heart right now to tell somebody today. You're not responsible to do none of those. You're not obligated to do none of those. You're not liability, liable to do none of those. If you are, you will become a burden. If you are, dead weight will continue to follow you and bring you down. It's time for you to remove that dead weight. It's time for you to remove that burden. It's time for you to end that relationship. It's time for you to end it. Now, I don't know who I'm talking to today, but this word and this message is meant for somebody today. So they want to walk out of your life, let them leave. You don't have to chase them down. That's what they want you to do, chase them down. Let them leave. Jesus said he knew a time like this was going to happen. And some of y'all already knew it too, but some of y'all still procrastinate about it. Don't procrastinate about it. You know if it's dead weight. You know it ain't no good. Let them leave. Let them walk out your life. You're more better without them. And some of y'all don't even realize you'll get stronger when it's time for you to leave. I did. Because if I did, I wouldn't be able to be ministering right now. Because I had a lot of dead weight. I felt like I was responsible. It was my liability. That's what they thought. I was responsible. They thought I was liable. They thought it was my obligation. We was all in the same boat. Y'all grown just like I'm grown. We lost the same people like I lost. That's what God was telling me then. So God is telling somebody right now through this message right now today. So if someone walking out your life today, let them leave. You're not responsible. You're not obligated. You're not liable. Don't come a burden and remove the dead weight. And if, and if this word and this message meant for you today, give God some thanks and praise for this message today because this message today is meant for somebody. I don't know who, but it is. This is Minister LT. I love y'all. And before I close, I would like to end with a prayer. Can y'all please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life, to take over, to guide me, direct me, and use me so I can build a relationship with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus, by y'all praying a simple little prayer, that God is already working everything out in your life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or leave me a comment, my YouTube channel is withers.lt. If someone walking in your life today, let them leave. It's to be the best thing for you. God want to use you today. God want to mold you today. But the only way he want to do that, the only way it's going to happen, you're not responsible, you're not a liability. Remove the dead weight and remove that burden. Watch how God turn things around for you. I'm a living witness. This is Minister LT. I love y'all. Stay blessed. Amen.